Hey you guys, have you been? Today we're gonna do a second shelf post. I've got a lot of new books to show you, so let's just start. First book I've got here is Moon Cold by Patricia Briggs. This is the first in the Mercy Thompson series. I have already read most of the books in the series and I just love it so much I really wanted to get it for myself and I've already reread this one and posted a review on the blog. So check that out if you're interested, especially if you love werewolves and vampires and magical creatures in general. The second book I have here is Changeless by Gail Carriger. It is the second book in the Parasol Protectorate series. I hope I said that one right. And I have recently read the first one, Solace, and absolutely adored it. So I decided to get the whole series because I could just sense that I'm going to love it. So aside for changes, I already I already have Blameless and Heartless here, which is um really exciting. I'm not the biggest fan of the covers though because they're not the way I imagine Alexia at all. But you know. It's just part of it, and I just really wanted to have these books in my home. So the next one I have here is Love Irresistibly by Julie James. I love, love, love this author, and I've read most of her books. This is actually the fourth in the, her series, FBI slash USA Attorney, and I have been dying to read it. It's really new. I think it's, it came out last month, I think. This month? Not sure. But I pre-ordered it and got it, like, last week, and I'm so excited to get it and read it, and I... I'm certain this is gonna be absolutely amazing. So yay! Next one I have here is a book I've been dying to get. I've read it as an ebook and adored every bit of it, so I had to get it in print. Now the thing is, at the time, it was not available anywhere else except for Amazon. I don't usually buy at Amazon because the shipping rates are astronomical for this country. But for this one, I was ready to pay the price, so. I ordered it and got it, and it is Vain by Emily Fisher. If you love new adults and you appreciate books with character development, this one is definitely for you, and I really recommend it. Some people did not like it, some loved it. I'm from people who loved it, so definitely a recommendation for me. So the next one I have here is one I'm really excited about. It is Black Dawn by Rachel Kane. Now, this is actually the 12th book of the Morganville Vampire series, and I have not yet read 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But I had to buy this one when I started on the book depository because it is signed. You see that? And here in Israel, we don't have book signing, at least not for authors I love because, you know, they live in the US or the UK, so they don't really come here. So this is my first signed book, and I could not give up the opportunity because I love the Mercury Vampire series and I'm sure I'm gonna love the other books and you know a signature of Rachel Kane is worth it so I bought it and if you're interested I'm pretty sure it's still available in the book depository so check it out next one I have here is one I've wanted to buy I've already read it and I liked it I really really liked it and when I bought Vane from Amazon I was like I'm not gonna pay this much for one book when it comes to shipping, so I decided to take another one. This one was just six dollars, less than six dollars, and five and a half, I think. And it is Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I think again, I love the book, and I think this one is a book most people adore. It's really good. It has action and romance, and a rather unique creature for nowadays young adults. So it's definitely a recommendation as well. I already have the second one, Onyx, and I will get the third one soon too. So check this one out if you have time. Next one I have here is one I'm really happy to get, and it is Body and Soul by Stacey Cade. This is the third in the The Ghost and the Goth series, the last in the trilogy, and I already have the first two in the series. This one actually came out in paperback just you know this month, and I pre-ordered it and got it. And I was really, really happy about it. And now I have the entire series, and I'm so happy. It's a really good series, so cute and well written, and has unique character voices for both characters. It is it switches POV, but you will not confuse the characters because they're very unique in their own way. So I definitely recommend it if you can if you have a chance to read it. Next one I have here is a book I've actually won in a giveaway. I was really excited about it, and it's one that I've been meaning to read for a while, 
but haven't yet, so this is great. Um, and it is Anna and the French Kiss. This should be a really cute and adorable young adult book. And the only problem I have with it is that the pages are a bit ruined. Do you see it? They're like shredded a bit, in the, only in the sides. The actual pages are fine. Luckily for me, my grandfather used to work in a print shop, and he knows what to do with that kind of problem, so we're just going to probably cut it off, and then I'm going to have a perfect book again. Yay. And last but not least is a book that I'm really excited to have, even though there is a bit of a funny story behind it. And it is Clockwork Princess, the Collector's Edition. Ooh. Now, the thing is with this one is that I have not actually read the first two in the series. I don't even own them. I have been meaning to read them, but I've been waiting for the trilogy to end with this one, of course. But when I saw this one at the, in the store looking so pretty and perfect and having the collector's edition written on it, I could not resist buying it. I will get the first one soon and start reading them because I've heard they're even better than the Mortal Instruments. So that should be really good. But I could not resist, you know, so pretty and it just called to me. So, yes, I've got it. So, this is all for today. That's all the books I've got. I'm still waiting on five more books and I'm going to order some more soon because I'm kind of book obsessed. Now, I do want to tell you one more thing before we go, and that is that I'm going to add a feature to my roundup post in the end of every month, and it's going to be showcasing of my bookshelves so you can see what changed. I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to bookshelves. I rearrange them at least once a week. Sometimes because I get new books, sometimes because I suddenly look at them and I'm like, hey, I've got a better way to arrange this one. So I'm gonna just let you see how my bookshelves change, what is added, what kind of change, what orders are changed, and I'm actually really excited about that one because it's also for me to keep track of how I used to arrange the bookshelves, and that will probably help me when I try to remember why I put each book where I put it. So that is it for today, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye, you guys.